Howdy. Let's do some more strumming. This is this is like a something like a boom chicky boom chicky boom chicky. Ba boom is the bass strings. The fat strings maybe hit like one. I'm on a G chord by the way, but bass note, then a down stroke, then an up stroke. That's all it is for this boom chicky boom chicky thing. Check it out. Chicky boom, chicky boom, chicky boom, chicky. Something like one and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four. to E minor, middle and ring. Sounds cool. Can you do it? Here comes E minor. Remember, the boom is just the big string. Excuse me. And then a down up. One thing that really helps is to let these fingers of the picking hand sit on the face of the guitar. Start there and then let them kind of creep up a little bit, like this. Versus making a fist or kind of bopping your arm around. That's just kind of weird. Or just twisting your wrist or holding the pick weird don't do it just hold the pick normal on the side of your index finger make a little space here a little circle let these fingers out gradually they'll come in but just don't make a fist or don't fold the middle finger on top of your index don't put your ring finger on top of your middle don't do anything weird stop it do it right <laughs> okay I just see a lot of strange things happen with the right hand, the picking hand. These can kind of bounce and feel the face of the guitar. They're sort of like depth feelers. They just sort of, if you just keep bouncing off of there, you're probably in the right way. But if you're kind of flipping your hand inside out and the other way and way up and way down and twisting all over, you're wasting a whole lot of energy and it's not going to sound good. So just relax, get this natural flowing kind of feel going. It's perfect. You don't have to hit the strings super hard either, but don't hit them too soft. Just make it sound good. Hold the pick so you get a nice clear sound. If you do a C, now you're going to pick the uh, A string, the fifth string, the second fattest string. The A string is going to be your boom, chicky boom. Got one flat string. Got a lot of different temperatures going on in the house today. And once again, C 
see my ring finger of my um, right hand is on the face of the guitar, helping me find the right string with the pick. Boom, chicky, boom, chicky, boom, chicky, boom, chicky. Let's go to the D chord. D chord, we're going to hit the fourth string. So we got the sixth string is low E, fifth string is A, fourth string is D. D string is good for a D chord. Don't mess that up now. Just hit a D. And then a D chord looks like that little triangle shape. Four strings, not five, not six. And ring finger sitting there helps you, your right hand find the right strings to hit with the pick. Boom, chicky, boom, chicky, boom, chicky, boom, chicky. Now if you miss, if you actually hit the wrong string, you heard me hit an A in there, but listen how that could work. I'm hitting the D, boom, then the chicky is down up, then I hit an A string, and a down up. Repeat. Oops, I missed. Sorry, let's try it again. miss once in a while it doesn't matter just as long as you hit most of them and you get better all the time so we got our number G ah let's modify that we're gonna go G so we're gonna hit the fat string then the alternate bass note oops it's the A string is your alternate bass note I've been doing this a long time. I'm not the best, but I've gotten faster. So let me slow down a little bit. You too. minor again and I'm gonna hit the fat string for the boom chicky now alternate bass will be the A string which is a B note that's your alternate bass for an E minor chord Let's do D. One more chord, C chord. For C, this is kind of funny, you gotta go. So it's a C to a G. 
C to G. C to G. C to G. Chicky boom chicky. Okay, there's your strumming work. I hope that works really well for you. It's a very solid thing to build on.